Hi, everybody. Lori from Minnesota Dog Lover TV. Today we're at Grand Avenue Veterinary Center in St. Paul, and Dr. Heather Stather is going to show us how to clean our dog's ears. I'm Dr. Heather Stather, and today I'm just going to be talking about something pretty basic, but really important for some dogs, and that's ear cleaning. So some of you may already clean your dog's ears and you know what to do. Um, others may have heard about it and think, do I have to do that on my dog? Um, not every dog needs their ears cleaned, but certain breeds, the really long, heavy eared breeds like Basset Hounds or Golden Retrievers or dogs prone to infections like Poodles or Golden Doodles, etc., may need their ears cleaned routinely. Um, it can be any breed, but those are just some common ones that we see. So today, I just wanna show you how you do it so you do it properly and effectively um, so you're not wasting your time and you're not hurting your dog. So the first thing I wanna show you is just an ear model. Um, this is pretty basic, but basically the difference between people and animals is that animals have a very long external ear canal. So if this is their ear flap, they have their eardrum really far down. So they have all this space called the external ear canal that can just fill up with yeast and bacteria and inflammation and really cause a lot of discomfort. So this is the area that we're cleaning when we clean a dog's ears. Um, this is one of our technicians, Nicole, and her greyhound, Nola, and they're gonna show us today, I'm gonna describe to you um, what she's doing when she's cleaning Nola's ears. So Nola's a little nervous here right now, but she's usually very good about this. So the first thing you do is you take your solution and you basically just, what she's doing is she's putting a little solution just in the opening of the ear and then she's massaging it. And if you remember from that model, the solution goes really far down. So she's just putting the solution in and rubbing it. And if there's a lot of debris in there, etc., it'll kind of loosen up and then um, she'll massage it. And then usually when we let go, um, the <laughs> there we go. We, this is messy, so you might want to do it outside, but you shake, they shake their ears and then some of that stuff that's in the ears can kind of unlodge. And then you don't need to dig in the ear to get a lot of stuff out. We're really just wiping out the excess that might come out. And Nola doesn't really have dirty ears, but you can see there's a little bit of brown debris um, that's coming up as she's, um, after she's shaken her head. So Nicole's just using a cotton ball. You can use Kleenex or a soft paper towel or even a cloth, um, whatever you have at home. People ask all the time if you can use Q-tips. You really don't need to dig in the ear with Q-tips. Um, although their eardrums are far down and you're not gonna hurt them, we don't have you dig in there. But you certainly can kind of get up in these little grooves if there's a lot of debris in there. That can You can help to clean that out with a Q-tip. As you can see, Nicole's getting a little bit from Nola. Um, but really just at the part that you can see, you don't need to put the Q-tip down far. So that's how you clean ears. <laughs> 